Hi, welcome to our Kingdom Devotions. Today's scripture verse is from the book of James, chapter 5, verse 13 to 16. Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let him pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick. And the Lord will raise him up and if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Amen. Here, James is telling us to how to live a life of faith. What is our response to every situation and circumstance? Pray. What happens when believers pray? Great power is at work. Let's break these four verses down. In verse 13 and 14, it tells us how to care for the needs of each other. It's anyone suffering, they need to pray. It's anyone cheerful, they need to sing praises to God. Is anyone sick? Call the elders to pray for them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. James has the same advice for both the suffering and the cheerful. To get to God, James is very clear. If anyone has needs, let them call for help to seek prayer. Best help we can give anyone is to pray and praise with them. In Romans chapter 8 verse 31 to 32, it reads, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? So my friends, do not hesitate to go to your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ or your leaders for prayer in your times of need. And let us enter into God's presence with praise and thanksgiving. In verse 15 to 16, James points out God's response to our prayer. Those who are sick, God will raise him up. Those who committed sins, confession and prayer brings forgiveness and healing. When we pray in faith, believing in God's healing power, physical healing will take place. We hear of so many healing testimonies on Sunday, and each week we end the sermon message with praying for the sick, believing that God's healing power will be released over those who are seeking prayer and confession frees the believers from the burdens of sin and removes any hindrances to our relationship with God. We need to admit our wrongs and confession breaks the power of sin. Simply confess to one another, pray for each other for the forgiveness of sins so that they may be healed. And James did not say the prayer of a pastor or the prayer of a leader has great power as it is working. He says the prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. My friends, you and I are righteous through Christ Jesus. There is great power in there is great power in our prayer when we abide close to him. John 15, 7 says, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Great promises indeed. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for your promise that when we abide in you, we will bear much fruit and we can do all things through you. Holy Spirit, empower us to be a praying church. Empower us to be a praising church. And most of all, empower us to be a healing church. In your mighty name we pray. Amen.